return match for the TNA World Heavyweight Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is for the TNA World Heavyweight Championship and is scheduled for one fall with a 20-minute time limit. Introducing first the challenger, he is from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He is professional wrestling, his only Olympic gold medalist. He is Kurt Angle, clearly the victim this past Sunday at Genesis. He had AJ Styles beat for the TNA World Heavyweight title. The interference of Ric Flair caused AJ to regain. We anticipated that Angle would not get another title shot, but earlier tonight, Hulk Hogan righted the wrong. His opponent from Gainesville, Georgia, he is the TNA heavyweight champion of the world. Just see the expression on AJ's face. I think the phenomenal one is pretty obvious is he's changed just a little bit. And I like it. I like the attitude. I like the business decision that AJ made to align himself with, the, with arguably, not even arguably, the greatest world champion in the history of this industry in Rick Flair. The different look, the different attitude of the TNA World Heavyweight Champion as referee Earl Hebner who raises the belt, showing the TNA title and wow. AJ even before the opening bell is on the attack. Well, listen, both! Just imagine Kurt Angle talk about revenge. That's got to be going through the mind, heart, body, and soul of the 13-time World Champion, Kurt Angle. I love the way that Hulk Hogan laid down the law earlier tonight when he said if Ric Flair interferes with this match in any way, shape, or form, there's going to be a disqualification and the TNA title will be awarded to Kurt Angle as a result. Whoa! Up in the lights with that back body drop. Yeah, AJ almost hit rain. He went so high. But AJ, not often you see that. Kind of trying to cut the pace down a bit. I'll tell you. Hey, Mike, you, you watch AJ wrestle here in TNA from day one, right or wrong? Every match that AJ Styles has had in TNA for the past seven years, I've announced it. Well, oh, lucky you on that. Watch this. Oh, Tilt the world back. Waker leads to the pin, and Angle was just this close to becoming champion. Did you ever in a million years think you'd see this side of AJ Styles? Never. Never saw it coming as we see Angle snap whoa, 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 whoa. for the Olympic gold medalist. It's going for a pin here and trying to get that title. Tenacious. Tenacious is angry. Seven plus years I watched AJ Styles stand for integrity. He built that reputation here in TNA. And to me, he threw it all away in one night this past Sunday oh, at you, Genesis. How could you say that? I mean, what, AJ doesn't have integrity? Because he, he did what he had to do to hold on to his title? against You're telling me that you condone the actions? of AJ Styles and Ric Flair from this past Sunday. Yeah, I do, because you know what? It's one thing to be a great wrestler. It's another thing to be a great champion. Ric Flair will show AJ how to be a great champion. It's a good move. That was a good move. Explosive clothesline out of the corner. Angle right on top for the cover and gets two. So it's it's just simple. It's just by any means necessary. It's about being it's a whatever champion. Whatever it takes. Yes, you want to be a champion. If you, if you if you are here and you're not looking to be the champion, then you don't belong here. AJ wants to hang on to that title as he hung on to the ropes. And, well, that right there was classic Ric Flair, huh? Right out of the playbook of, of the dirtiest player in the game. No question. Uh, look at the face of expression on AJ. The low blow out of the view of referee Hebner as AJ continues the assault on Angle. We've got to take a commercial break. Don't go anywhere. War of the World Title Match when we return. And we are back on Impact. This is the continuation of our main event. It's for the TNA World Heavyweight Title. It's Kurt Angle getting another shot at AJ Styles. And Kurt on the offense of the corner, but AJ well, just took the shortcut, yeah. didn't he? Oh, the chop block. He just clipped yeah. Angle from behind. And that was a very, very nasty, a violent chop block by the TNA World Champion, AJ Styles. As we pointed out when this match started, I pointed it out, I mean, there's, 
This is just a different AJ Styles, and, and I personally, uh, professionally, I like this. this, this, this Check this out. Styles. You talked about going to the Nature Boy playbook. Whoa. This is Ric Flair. It's oh, oh, one with the figure four, and Angle's shoulders almost down for the three count. Well, I guess AJ's a quick learner. Shows up here tonight in a custom-made suit. Some tomato on his arm, and now he's locking it. Oh, got him, got him. Oh, locking in a figure four. Nature Boy rubbed up on AJ real quick. Angle trying to make his way to the ropes to get a break at the same time, making sure that his shoulders aren't down for the three count, and then fighting through the pain as well, and he got the break. That takes so much to exert so much en energy uh, while you're in that figure four, which is just a nasty hold to try and get to that bottom rope to break the hold. Remember what Hulk Hogan said, if Ric Flair interferes in this match in any way, shape, or form, it's going to be a disqualification, the title awarded to the well, Olympic gold medalist, and Angle on fire with the clotheslines. Yeah, Kurt Angle, I don't think he wants to miss out on this second opportunity. Whoa. Explosive over-the-head belly-to-belly suplex by the challenger. Sends AJ flying. Angle, stalking, oh measuring, waiting. Oh the second boy. that AJ's to his feet, going to take him up in the air. Instead, oh. the counter of the oh, angle oh, slam oh. by Styles. Beautiful counter. Now, German, what a German suplex. Hanging on with that vice grip-like grip of Kurt Angle. Here comes another one. Again, number two. Yeah. AJ looked like he got shot out of a cannon on that one. And Angle, you talked about that grip. He's not giving it up. The hips, the hips. Three. Released him completely overhead. Kurt right on top. Leg hook. Here's the trigger. Oh. That was close. <laughs> that was a close one. Oh. Angle on the verge of victory yeah. in terms of regaining the title and the straps come down. And we know we've seen this from what? Kurt in the past. He just takes it up another notch, another level. AJ, AJ, the straps go down. AJ looks worn out. AJ looks worn out here. Uh. Angle slam attempt. AJ Perfect Pele by the champ. That might have been it. Oh, he was going to go for the pin cover. A dazed angle. Set up for the Styles Clash. And it's Count dead. It. He reverses it. But on the roll through, Kurt's up. Oh, Kurt's no. got the ankle lock. And they're in the middle of the ring. AJ's in the middle of the ring. Locked in the ankle lock. Perfect ring positioning for the challenger to win the title. If AJ taps, oh, he's trying to make it to the rope. And Kurt brings him back to the center. Oh, you can feel the problem building rapidly for AJ Styles. Oh, AJ gets so close to the ropes. AJ might not have no choice, Mike, but to tap out. He's going to break his ankle. Instead, he rolls through. Get counter. What the hell just happened here? Uh, 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 referee Earl Hebner wait, 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 wait. just called for the bell. What happened? What, what? I have no idea. The belt. The, the, the second that the second that AJ put the ankle lock on Kurt Angle, you saw referee Earl Hebner tell the timekeeper to ring the bell. It's confusing. I mean, it's very confusing. Kurt, Kurt is. That's, I don't. I mean, Kurt didn't tap, right? I mean, AJ, not that I saw. That quick? No. He hardly had it. He hardly had it on. No, here, wait, here's Hulk Hogan. Here's Hulk Hogan. What the hell just happened, man? What did you do? You said it to your company. You let this happen? It's a bull**** Hogan. You know it. I don't need this I go back to the WWE. This is I quit. I quit. I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to get to the bottom of this story tonight. Do not go anywhere. We will be right back on Impact. And we are back on Impact. And 
Yeah. <laughs> Taz, this is what went down during the commercial break. Yeah, Kurt Angle just, uh, he, he, he snapped out here, and it's hard to blame him. Uh, Kurt got screwed, uh, but he flipped out. I mean, he, he went absolutely crazy. Just absolute madness for Kurt Angle. Came a little too close to comfort for us, obviously, but he got screwed. Kurt Angle blames Hulk Hogan for this. Well, Taz, after watching the replays, I've got to ask the question. I've got to ask it once again. You think Hulk Hogan was involved in this? I, I, I don't. I don't know. I mean, it could be. I don't know. I mean, did history just repeat itself here? I, I don't. I don't know what to say. I mean, it was just. Uh, it was a crazy. Oh, look at this. 